Okay, while we are staying at the Sunrise, right now we are at the Grand, which is their main flagship resort. And this is what the ambiance is once you walk in, and this is what it looks like. So that's their front desk. On both sides, and uh, again, it's still the holiday season. Even though it's first week of January, because schools don't open till the second week, so uh, it's packed. And there is a lot of activity going on in a lot of places. Uh, we'll go there in a few minutes to look at the restaurants. And then over here, there are a few other restaurants as well. And they also have a spa and gym and bowling alley and a theater and then outside one can go and even go to a conference like they have huge conference centers too so um, again big city you know city <laughs> uh, within the city so it's a lot of fun for the kids as you can see there are a lot of different activities going on We are back where Habibi is and I forgot to mention they do have belly dancing starting at 6.30 in the evening so that's another added attraction. Uh, they also have their own theater where they have the shows and there's a premium steakhouse and a grand buffet too further down. So we did try the grand buffet earlier for lunch. Uh, this is still the line for Habibi. Uh, now this steakhouse I believe is not included in the price and this might be something that you have to pay for separately uh, but I've heard really good reviews about it and I think the ones who are members in the diamond membership is included for them uh, there is an open bar again and then this is the grand buffet which has the international kind of cuisine they had a few Indian items as well uh, which we, you know, some we liked, some we didn't care for. And some of the other popular restaurants here are, one is Jade, which is Asian cuisine, predominantly Japanese. And again, the ambiances are very nice, does not require reservations, and uh, is a la carte for dinner. And then, you know, this is their menu. Uh, that they have displayed here so you can see what is it that you want or you don't want to eat and then line, get in the line accordingly. Um, the one place we wanted to try but the lines are long is Mediterranean. Habibi is the restaurant's name and you can see this line is already formed there. It's going to be another half an hour before they let people in and then another half an hour after that before they allow they start serving food which is also going to be a la carte. So this is a pretty popular restaurant. Um, on the right across, they have a lounge for the kids. It's called Wired and this has, you know, arcade games, um, foosball, they also have table tennis, air hockey um, for the kids. There is food again galore with lots of Desserts as well. Uh, some more sugar. <laughs> uh, and as you can see in our daily pass that we have bought, all of this is included. Uh, and this is their simulation room. You can sit and play video games. And this is my older son's favorite game, FIFA. So he likes to play that. and. You can play Xbox as well over here. So they have the controllers and the TV. Uh, the kids definitely do not get bored. Uh, so my kids did get out of the pool or uh, 
the water park. They're starving, of course. So we are trying this tavola, Italian cuisine, and surely, you know, my, they have been eating pizza most of the time, but this pizza promises to be slightly different again. Uh, it's brick oven, and you can see the battles of cheese uh, here. And we have ordered some gnocchi with pesto and then, you know, pasta with Alfredo sauce. So really looking forward to trying this cuisine out. So given this is an all-inclusive resort and almost a city by itself, the main grand one has a separate fitness center. So to the extent you want to come and during your break, uh, you know, still keep in shape while you're eating all this food. And then they also have a spa. And uh, I think even I've seen guys getting manicures and pedicures and uh, then the massages. So it's again a great setup. Uh, and I think that's the entrance to their spa. We just keep everyone's privacy and not go in there. And as always, they have a bar regardless, no matter where you are in the building. And the one good thing about Grand is they have uh, their own water park. And then there are all these trolleys, you know, that take you from the main resort area to wherever you need to go. So my kids are already there and they've spent pretty much the whole day there. I'm going to be joining them right now. So hello, uh, welcome to the Midwest channel again. Today is day three of our trip to Cancun, the Grand Resorts. And this morning after breakfast, we have decided to take some golf lessons for the boys. Um, this is almost 27 hole golf course, but the way they are doing it is nine holes and then times three. So you can pick and choose that way. There's a lot of land in this part of the country and strip that these guys have and hence they have decided to put together a golf course. It's a busy morning, again, given the weather. And I look forward to, you know, seeing how it goes. That's their driving range over there for practice. And right behind this kiosk is their putting and chipping range as well.